So this next uh, video is going to be kind of the overview of what we're going to be doing. And then the following ones will be um, looking at it more specifically, the different uh, reactions and, and, and parts. And then we'll at the end talk about some other uh, ideas. So uh, what we want us to do is first talk about where photosynthesis occurs in a plant and mostly in the leaves, uh, although it can also happen in the stem. Uh, there are some uh, modified plants that do that. But um, what we want to uh, talk about is uh, plants need CO2 and they need to get rid of oxygen. Okay. And so that happens in the stomata. And those are the openings on the uh, bottom of the leaves and are called guard cells. And that allows for oxygen and CO2 to be exchanged. And typically, most of those are on the underside of the leaf. That, that helps uh, um, reduce water loss. And so I want you to, to realize that that name is very similar to another term we, we saw, which is the stroma. And so don't get those confused, stomata and stroma. Um, OK, so what I do want you to know is most photosynthesis occurs in what we call mesophyll cells. And mesophyll cells, meso means middle, middle of the leaf. And these are the ones that are where most of photosynthesis occurs. Now, uh, you need to realize it's not the only place, but, but that's where most uh, photosynthesis occurs. That's where the chloroplasts are. And, and so that's, that's where it's happening. And we've already done the structure from test one, um, but I want to go over this uh, in a little bit more detail. Uh, just because um, I had to look at some. Okay, just because um, I think I, I might have skipped some parts. So I want you to know it's a, a double membrane structure that's going to become come important when we talk about where things happen. And so you can see it has the membrane on it. There's the outer membrane and then the inner membrane. Uh, so that's not hard, uh, double layer. And then you need to know between those is an intermembrane space. Um, intermembrane space. Now, now notice it's I-N-T-E-R instead of I-N-N-E-R. Uh, inter means between, like an interstate is, a, is one of the highways that goes between freeway, or freeways that goes between uh, um, cities um, or between states. Uh, the 10 is an interstate. Uh, the 5 is an interstate. So um, that's where uh, inter comes from. Um, okay, and then we, we, we talked about uh, thylakoids. So there are these round disks, and, and, and that's where um, photo, the light reaction of photosynthesis occurs. And they also have a space inside them. So there will be a thylakoid space. Um, a stack of thylakoids is called the grana. And then the um, kind of the area around the thylakoids within the chloroplast is called the stroma. Uh, so make sure you remember those parts. and. Uh, uh, for this. So, so what I want you to know, big overview, is um, there's something called the light reactions. And um, that's the old term, happens in the thylakoids. They're also called the light dependent reactions, um, which is probably uh, a better term. Light dependent reactions. Um, and then there's the Calvin cycle, which sometimes is called uh, Calvin fixation, although that's really only kind of the first part of the Calvin cycle. Uh, also, it's called the light independent reactions. So there's another name for it. And then the older term even is the dark reaction. So that one has um, several uh, different connotations. But for my purposes, I, I, I basically use the light uh, reactions or light dependent reactions and the Calvin cycle are the light independent reactions. Uh, and, and again, uh, the Calvin cycle or the light independent reactions happens in the stroma. All right, so here we got light. We got water coming in uh, into a chloroplast. You can see it's hitting a, a thylakoid or a stack of thylakoids, which would be grana. And we're using water, and we will we will discuss why that is necessary. And then what happens is it makes ATP and ADPH and O2. Uh, so so here's what I really need you to know for this first section here. Um, and, and again, we're going to go into more detail how this happens. But I want you to understand that the um, the light dependent reactions. Um, 
they don't make sugars. Uh, what they're doing is making two molecules, ATP and NADPH. Uh, that is the, really the purpose of the light reactions is to make ADP and NADPH. Uh, and oxygen is the byproduct. It is a waste product for, for plants. All right, and then the next one is the Calvin cycle. That's what's gonna be taking in the CO2. And then it's also gonna be using the ATP and the NADPH from uh, the light reactions. And that's where you're gonna get your sugar. And for our purposes, that will be glucose. We'll show you how we build glucose. Again, so what I want you to realize is plants technically don't need light. So if you were adding ATP and NADPH to a plant, uh, it would be able to make it sugars on its own. Um, but it's using the light reactions to actually make ATP and NADPH uh, to run the Calvin cycle. Okay, so, so I want this overview. So you, you kind of want to know where things go in. So the light's only required for the light reaction. Water is there for the light reaction. Uh, and the waste products coming off of the light reaction. Um, uh, the Calvin cycle needs CO2. It also needs ATP and NADPH from the light reaction. Uh, again, the purpose of the light reaction. Uh, and then that output would be um, the sugar. So where does the um, oxygen come from? This was a, a long, long investigated. The assumption was, okay, and what I don't have on here as you want to think about this is the equation for um, photosynthesis. And that will be in lab. And I want you to know it exactly for lab and exam, but it's um, C6. I'm sorry, um, let's, let's try that again. It's six CO2 plus six H2O uh, goes to, and it needs light and chlorophyll to produce C6H12O6 plus six O2. Now, if you're looking here, you're having 12 and six, and that's probably a little more accurate. Uh, that's why, but when they write the equation, they often leave off this HO2 and then just reduce this to six. So it's six CO2 plus six H2O with a line here. And then you need light and you need chlorophyll. C6H12O6, which is glucose plus six O2. And what they want you to know after they did studies that at first they thought it was the CO2 breaking broken down, the carbon was put into the sugar, and then the oxygen was given off. But uh, they use radioactive isotopes, and what they realize that is not the case. Uh, what's actually happening is it is the breaking of water that is producing the oxygen. So the um, radiated water uh, was causing radiated oxygen. So that's where it's coming from. So. I've seen that on some of the MCATs and stuff, so we want you to know that. Uh, and with that, that's the the overview. So we'll stop the.